It's time for another Potluck Sunday. And this classic stew will warm you to the bones. <laughs> it's cooked low and slow and perfect to stay at home when it's cold and chilly outside. Oh, it's so cozy. Pass me some bread. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, everybody, I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. My low and slow <laughs> Totally. DC's I a love low it. and slow, but boy, very low he slow. gets better with time. That is for sure. So we're doing beef stew. Yes. Oh Yes. It's so good. And we're doing it in the in the slow cooker. We're letting it do all the heavy lifting for yeah. us. So let's get going. That's what I love. I do too. D d now this first step you don't even have to do because, um, but I think it adds to the flavor. I think it's So we're going to sear. We've got two pounds yes. of just some good old cheap old. I'm getting down dirty. Sorry, go ahead. A chuck roast. Um, you So often now at the supermarket, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my uh, skillet. You can find it. Stew meat already got. Do not spend a lot of money on this because it's going what? Low. Low and slow. And slow. <laughs> so it is going to because it's going to get super tender no matter what it, type it's going to turn. Yeah. It's going to melt in your mouth. Okay. Now this is the step that I was saying that you you can for, not do this. You can forget it. Um, but I think it really kind of helps create this yeah. nice little crust on the outside of the meat. So what the loon is meticulously I'm doing over there is um, <laughs> okay. You good? Yeah. I'm wow. Good. You've really okay. So yeah. he is he's taken half of that. We're going to do this in batches. Hold on. Let this heat I up. I know. Just a I knew you started that too late. Well, no, it's fine. <laughs> And, and then we're going to um, heat, heat this up. I've got two, a couple tablespoons of olive oil, and then I'm, or you could use vegetable oil. I've got nice medium heat, and go ahead and drop it in there. And right. uh, this thing heats up very fast. There we go. And then we're just going to sear this off. We're not going to cook it completely. We're just going to get them till they're nice What's and brown. What's the flour do? What the Sorry. flour does, and again, you could you probably can, said it. I didn't. You can skip the flour. All of this, what it does is it just kind of. I think it just locks in the flavor. Ooh. It creates kind of a nice little crusty flavor on it. But if you're <laughs> in a real real crunch for time you could absolutely skip this and just put it all in the slow cooker and just go from there. right so in the morning instead of doing this you just cut it up and well what up. I'm gonna what I what we're you could and you don't uh, I'm you, sorry. <laughs> He's so <laughs> meticulous. So um, I'm, I'm going to gonna wash, wash my hands. hands. I know, yeah, I wash so my hands. But anyway, you could absolutely. So as far as timing for this, <laughs> Sorry. I mean, the great thing about obviously a slow cooker is the dump and go aspect of it. So you, what I do is if we're going to have this the, in the evening, which you normally would, yeah. then get it all ready the night before, stick it in the fridge, and then in the next morning just put it in your slow cooker, turn it on, and then it's ready to go. Fabulous. So it would be easy to do this step um, the night the before. The night before, okay. You know, okay, so we're gonna, like we said, we're doing this. Which is two, what we are doing. We are doing it, <laughs> we're doing it. And um, anyway, we're gonna do this in two batches, and then it all goes in the slow cooker, and then we're gonna go on a trip. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that was simple. That was so quickie. all we did quick, was quick, quick. just uh, stirred it, you know, with my little wooden spatula. Uh, just keep it moving around in that skillet until yeah. we got. As remember, again, yeah, we're just, not fully cooking right, it. Right, just till it got some little crust on a little it. Crust. And also that flour that we added there, it does add as a little bit of a thickener. Um, but we're going to show you a step for thickening <laughs> it right at the end. So, okay. so now we're just throwing everything in. Everything right? is. This is what they call a dump and go. So here's what the ingredients are that's going to make <laughs> the perfect, most delicious beef stew of all. Love time. it. The, okay, so that was two pounds of uh, chuck, chuck roast. Chuck roast that we cut into bite-sized pieces. These are I use, love using gold uh, potatoes like Yukon Gold, um, whatever you've got. And I didn't peel them. Leave those skins on. Just cube them into uh, into bite-sized pieces, and that was about three cups. Okay, and then we've got some celery. Love celery. That is like four stalks of celery that I roughly chopped. These are like three medium-sized carrots. If you'll notice. I cut these kind of like on the diagonal. You want to give these things a little bit of, I don't know, a little bit of girth. <laughs> so, <laughs> so when you got something to bite, I mean, it's beef stew for any, for heaven's sake. Let's get, let's make it chunky. Okay, and then I've got a, just a medium-sized onion yes. that I roughly chopped. The mirepoix. The mirepoix. I've got um, some garlic. Some I got like four cloves of garlic that I minced. You can leave that out if you want to. Okay, so now we're going to really amp things up. So now we've got some tomato paste. This is going to help deepen that flavor. That's mm. two tablespoons. Some good old tomato paste. Mm -hmm. These are all totally pantry friendly um, ingredients. This is two tablespoons, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Love it. It gives oh, that delicious beef stew flavor. Yes. And then we've got, this is a tablespoon of fresh rosemary. If you don't have fresh, you can use dried, no problem. This is dried, I, because I had dried uh, thyme, I didn't have any fresh on me. So I'm going to look teaspoon, at you. look at you, a, a <laughs> teaspoon of dried thyme. And then we've got two uh, bay, leaves. bay leaves, 
and now we're going to add now I, this is just going to add a robust flavor to it you can omit this or you can replace it with uh beef stock but this is one cup of just good old red wine oh now um, you have another beef stew that uses practically a bottle of red it wine. does use it and it's <laughs> i call it my hearty beef stew and it is hearty and it is delicious um but anyway if you don't want to cook with wine no problem you can just replace that with another cup of this which is beef, beef stock. stock this was uh four cups so that would be a total of five cups. all right okay now we need to season it with some salt and pepper um, this is gonna it can take a decent amount of salt so i'm gonna go two teaspoons here and then i'm gonna do a teaspoon of black pepper and now the fun begins you're just gonna do a little bit of the stirring you just kind of want to get it mixed together nothing real crazy I here love it. and um, i we've already took the liberty of turning the uh, the slow cooker on yeah so we're gonna do it <laughs> low and slow um for eight hours i time. love it so that's a perfect it's amount gonna of time. take me that long to do these dishes no it's not please <laughs> You do the dishes. That'll be in the day. Anyway, okay, so now we've got the lid. We're going to put this lid on. And like I said before, if you wanted to do this the night before, you absolutely could. And then just what I would do, though, thank you, mm. is give it um, an extra 30 minutes because it's going to be chilled. So instead of eight hours, go eight and a half hours. And then we're going to show you the tick, trick, trick to thicken it up. And then it's the best stew you've ever had. Oh, God. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> it is, the smell in here is ridiculous. It's the greatest I, thing. So we've been uh, out and about doing our thing. Oh. And um, it's one of the most, I think it's what this contraption has been these? around. For these contraptions has been around <laughs> for generations. And it just, I love it when you when you walk into the house and it just smells <laughs> like this incredible kitchen. Like, oh. look at me. Look All right, what we I did. Okay, I know, I'm, on, okay, okay. I'm, gonna turn, I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to turn it off. Okay. Off. Okay. Before we do the big reveal, though, I'm going to make a fringe uh, slurry with a fringe on top. Yeah. So this is a cornstarch uh, slurry. You can also do this with flour, but I like the old method of using my cornstarch here. Because so now what we're going to do? I have got a quarter cup of cornstarch, and I've added four tablespoons of water to that. And what does this do, Wesley? It thickens it. It makes a roux, but it, th it thickens. Well, it. It, no, it doesn't, doesn't make, make a roux. No, no, a no, roux is in there. Uh, is when the, you do it with flour and you I'm can, learning, I'm learning. You no, know, you're you've got it. Anyway, so this <laughs> oh, is Oh, a roux flour and that's cornstarch. Right, okay. right. So you could also do this, you could have done this with um sometimes you could just take like the liquid from your stew and add a little flour and then that's very French and that'll act as a Here, thickener. Move too. that back. Move it. Move okay, it. Okay, say so now I'm gonna pull Come on. Okay. There we go. Now is the big reveal. Yeah. I just love this. It's just <laughs> what you've been waiting for all day. Look at uh, that. Oh my gosh, it just smells. Spoon that around. It, the smell is oh, just yes. intoxicating. Okay, now you see it's a little on the thin side. Yeah, so I need we're to gonna thicken that we're up. We're just gonna thicken it up just a little bit, and this works almost instantly. That's what I that's what I really like about cornstarch oh, uh, slurry because it, it really it doesn't take oh. hardly any time at all. And now before your very eye, look at that. I feel like <laughs> we're in like one of those. <laughs> It's almost obscene. It's so delicious. Like, ah, I'm dying I over know, here. I know, I know. It's like I'm in the middle of the Sahara and I haven't had water in like eight <laughs> days. We don't have water, but we have beef stew. Okay, that. Oh, I'm, Chris, all right, come on. This doesn't get better than that. Come okay. on. Okay, so I'm going to bring this over yeah, and let's try do not this. to make too much of a mess. Sorry. Okay. You can probably unplug that. Yeah, okay, thank you. You're right. We're done. We're done slow cooking for the day. Yeah, come on over. We're gonna do. Some, we did some slow cooking. Now we're gonna do some fast eating. <laughs> wow, you are on it today. Boy, I tell you. On. Okay, here Come we on. go. Come on. I know. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, baby. Uh, yeah. This is great for like. Yeah, another one, please. Another one. No, but if you're like watching the football game yes. on a Sunday, <gasps> this is perfect for a you week. Night. It's so easy for a weeknight meal. I mean, I don't have to sell you guys on beef um, stew. I know. It's ridiculous. It's, I it's, could live on beef stew alone. I, I think you did for a while. <laughs> no, this is, I agree. It's one look of my that, favorite guys, things I in just the want world. To look at the carrots and the potatoes. It's just. Every, all right. So we also have some nice. Some fresh bread, bread here. Yeah, just serve this with a little bread and you've got a meal. Because you've got, like you said, your potatoes, you your vegetables. Some? Yes, please. All, right, there you um, go. all together in one bowl. And just get ready to make, serve lots Woo! of bowls. All right, I'm gonna do a spoonful right now. I'm okay. gonna blow on it though. Yeah, it, this is good and piping hot. <laughs> see the, can you see like my nice large carrot? 
I love leaving the carrots nice and <laughs> chunky. All right. Okay, blowing on it. Yeah, we got blowing up. <laughs> You're Sorry ready? for blowing in front of your face. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. 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 That just, the carrot, the potato, the meat just melted in my mouth. It all just melted. It just, me hold, hold. <laughs> I gotta go in. Hold the bread, please. I gotta dunk. Yeah, dun this, I mean, if there was ever anything that was made for dunking. Oh. Mm. That broth. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna mm. tell you one thing. This mm. is stupendous. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. On that note, this is 10,000% Luna Pro. Wow. Yeah, you are hitting it out of the park. Thank you. you Anything guys, low and slow is 10,000. Low and slow is the way to go. Oh. It's so easy. It's so delicious. You're going to love it. Your family's going to love it. And we love you. Yes. Make some stew. Make some <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>